Hello everyone, my name is Ruo Shenxu. Today I'm doing the presentation for the pattern recognition course. And my presentation topic is face recognition on MATLAB. My UFID is 391192233. My presentation has six parts, and each part it has the following PowerPoint pages. And I will introduce all of them as follows. The first one is introduction. The main topic is that how to do a face recognition on the platform MATLAB. Well, in current days, there is a lot of people that are still using the old methods, like the cards, like the driver license, or like the password codes. Even though the old methods are still useful, but they are sometimes inconvenient, like when people forget to take their cards or their license, or when they forget their password, they cannot identify their identity. Well, as the traditional method cannot satisfy all our needs, so new methods like the biometric recognition has aroused a lot of people's interest, and face recognition is one of the most famous one in it. Since 1965, the first face recognition paper has been written. There were thousands of papers about this area have been written every year. Until now, almost all well-known science and engineering universities like MIT Media Lab has their own team working on face recognition. Well, there are still some famous biometrical recognitions like iris, fingerprint, retina, and the most famous one, DNA. There is a lot of face recognition applications in our lives, like our cell phones. They're using the face recognition to identify our identity. If we are the owner of the cell phone, it will unlock by themselves. Moreover, the security inspections are also used the face recognitions. Like when we go through the inspections, our name and our identity will show on the screen. Well, face recognition still has a lot of difficulties. The face expression is really complex, and there is a lot of muscle on people's face. Muscle movement leads to the appearance of different facial expression, which can cause significant change in facial features. As the ages increase, the appearance of wrinkles and relaxation of the facial muscle will change the structure and texture of the face. And faces are variable attachments, such as the changing hairstyle, loving beards, or wearing hats or glasses. Face features a mask or the face and partial of the mask will cause misidentification. And the distortion due to light due to viewing angles cause difficulties too. Well, in Yale, the face database, there are 15 people and each person has 11 images of their faces. And those images show different facial expression and some face attachment of each people's. Well, the main text of my project is to select several pages, uh, several images from the database and hold a sample library and get an eigenface library from the sample library. Then ch randomly choose a picture from the Yale database to identify its identity. Well, how to solve an image? An image can be sorted as a matrix of pixel values like n plus n. It can also be sorted as a vector of lengths of n squares. To solve the image recognition, the first thing we can do is to find a suitable subspace, and all the image can be projected on the subspace. Then we can make a certain measures between the images. Well, the subspace is determined by the PCA algorithm, and finally we use a minimal distance methods to identify their identity. Well, the second part, experimental methods. PCA is to select the eigenvectors of k largest eigenvalues in the covariance matrix to form a KL transformation matrix. The second part is selecting main parts of images. A likely percentage is determined to decide how many main parts could be remained. If one more main part is retained, then the cumulative variance just increase a little. So no more main parts will be remained. After selecting the main parts of images, we need to create a face library. We use the eigen, eigenvectors to make a projections on the subspace, and it will be used in the later recognizing phases. To recognize phases, uh, we need to do is to calculating coordinates of the new inputting images in subspace. Then we use the minimal distance methods to obtain 
the coordinate vectors with the minimal distance and the search space and got the got a face image which corresponding to the vectors. Well, here's the third part evaluation. The first thing is to choose six images from Yale Face database, four images for each person. And I change all the images from 1 to 8 plus 1 to 8 plus vectors to a vectors in 1, 6, 3, 8, 4 plus 1. And I make sure the min of vectors then get the central X matrix, then get using the central X matrix to get a covariance matrix. Then what I need to do is to calculating and get the eigenvalue of the covariance matrix and I select largest k values to reach the eigenvectors and I then I pick a k vectors to arrange a new matrix. Finally we reach a projection of each matrix. The comparison between the new inputting image is to compare the projections of the new inputting matrix and the original ones in the sample library. Then I've drawn a schematic diagram for the project. All of the training parts, all of the images have go through a feature extraction and get eigenvectors. And the new new input one has also got an eigenvector for test. Then we compare to find the most similar one and return the most similar one. And I've drawn a flowchart to start with a training database and change the images to vectors of data matrix and get a min of vectors and get a centralized matrix and get a covariance matrix, then get a eigenvectors, then make the projection of each images. Finally, compare the projections. Well, the first part is the result. The first picture is about the old man has been recognized from the left to the right one in the sample space. And the system accuracy is about 100%. The third one is the man wearing glasses have been recognized too. However, the system still has some mistakes because the image has a large area of darkness. It food it has food system. Now keep going. Here is the project part. The first thing I need to do is is to clean the wrong area. I'll clean wrong button and there is a four button here. The first one is the system training and clean it and select the training sample and select the directory then choose a photo from the test. Randomly choose one is OK and get a photo of the, of the man and choose recognize people and we can get a photo of the same people. Then we can also test the system accuracy. The system accuracy is about 100%. Well, now let me do some comparisons between the related scores and the face recognitions. The first one is fingerprint. Fingerprint has obvious advantage as it has a long history, so it has a major technology. But its short on me is also obvious because fingerprint requires a physical contact, and the fingerprint requires a finger skin to be clean, and your finger cannot be too dry or too wet. The next one is iris recognition. The iris recognition uses the lifelong variance and variability of the iris to identify identity. Even the advantage is obvious because it is accurate, but it still has some disadvantages, like it is not easy for people to accept, and the iris recognition device is much more expensive. Now the third one is retinal recognition. The retinal recognition has an advantage like it's more accurate than iris because it's hiding in your eyes, it's not easy to change by ears, and even not easy to get some hurt like iris. And moreover, it still has some disadvantage likes because there's a new technology, it still remains more test, and people may afraid that it will cause some health problem for people. By the way, it's too expensive. The last one is DNA. DNA patterns in every cells and tissues in one person's body is the same, so a hair or a blood can be used for the test. But it also has some disadvantage as the DNA test could only done in lab, so it's not an instant one. 
Finally, there is a conclusion. The purpose of the research is to use the human face as a biometric to identify people. But now I cannot reach a 100% accuracy in the system. So in the future, I need to do it to learn some other methods like wavelet transforms, neural network algorithms, or hidden macro models and use them in MATLAB to combine a new system to do some further research. And there's some reference I had used. Finally, thank you for watching.